The death toll from a building collapse in Nigeria has risen to 36. Due to the use of low-quality construction materials and a lack of government oversight of ongoing construction projects, building collapses are widespread in this African country. Ibrahim Farinloy, the coordinator of the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, declared on Thursday that The death toll from a building collapse in Lagos City has risen to 36, with fresh bodies being recovered from the rubble by rescuers. Over 10 victims were recovered from the wreckage of a 21-story skyscraper under construction in Lagos Ikoi neighborhood that fell on Monday afternoon between Wednesday and Thursday morning. One of the nine survivors was a woman, and the other eight were men, Farim Lui said, adding that the rescue mission, which began on Monday, was still underway. After the building fell about 2 p.m. Monday, at least 50 construction workers were trapped inside. On that day, Nigerian President Mohamedou Buhari expressed condolences to the victims' families and encouraged officials to step up rescue efforts. Due to the use of low-quality construction materials and a lack of government oversight of ongoing construction projects, building collapses are widespread in this African country. The regional authorities stated at the time that the Building Business Force Corps Limited was only permitted to build 15 plants, and that it proceeded with its plans without permission. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sanwo Olu declared that his administration is forming an independent commission to investigate the collapse, which will include people from the construction industry, town planners, structural engineers, and lawyers. It will conduct an independent investigation into the incident's remote and proximate causes and offer recommendations on how to prevent repeat incidents. The investigation is separate from the government's ongoing internal investigation, he stated.